Friends of friends and family cannot believe it. A local father shot and killed while he was sitting in his car eating breakfast. Yeah, and now police are trying to find the gunman. Tessa Dottiro is at District 4 in Avondale with new details on the crime and the victim here. Tessa, good evening. Good evening, Kyle. 37-year-old Ronald Williams was shot four times through his windshield. Cincinnati police tell me they're looking for that gunman. He's just over six feet tall with a larger build, and he's driving a gray minivan. Mitch Morris watched Ronald Williams grow up. He went with my little cousins and them, you know, so I was just playing basketball, just trying to do the right thing, you know. So uh, reached out to me, you know, he came through our program, graduated from the program, trying to change his life and trying to do the right thing. So I was respecting him for that. Tonight, he says Avondale is hurting. That's a young man that grew up in the neighborhood, you know. Pastor Peterson Mingo says he saw that pain firsthand. At the hospital, you should have seen the people who came once they found out. Uh, it was more than 200 people who came up to the hospital when they heard that he had been shot. He was all about family. He loved his family. He, he's got kids who, who just adored him. One of his grandson's birthday party was today, matter of fact, and they had to counsel it because of this. Williams' friends are frustrated. When is it going to be enough? going to be enough for us to come off the sidelines and really get involved. His death seems senseless. It just speaks to the climate in which we live. Sometimes people do things to you because of jealousy, some because of maybe mistaken identity. And I can't think of any reason, you know, why anybody would want to take this young man, you know, away from this world. Williams' death makes nine homicides since June 1st. That's, uh, you know, a who next type of attitude on the streets, people on edge, and people who've never carried weapons before beginning to carry them. That's a shame when you feel unsafe in your own neighborhood. So if you feel like there's been a spike in gun violence lately, Police Chief Elliot Isaac says no. Actually, the number of homicides this year compared to other years is down. At Police Headquarters District 4, Tessa Tiro, Local 12 News. Kyle. Tessa, thank you. And police believe the man who shot Williams may be connected to an early 2000s gray Honda Odyssey minivan with Ohio temporary tags and tinted windows.